Gampolo Zahira College, a supreme educational institute in Sri Lanka. Once it is narrated Gampolo Zahira College, every Sri Lankans recall our splendid leader Dr. Badiuddin Mahmud. As Zahirians, we are in historical month of June, which consists twin occasion of our founder architect. They are the birth and death of our leader. As a gratitude to his great service, we are here to give away the history of college anthem and him. Our college anthem is a full-blooded, vibrant song extolling the virtues of building a nation where amity, goodwill, peace and harmony should flourish among all the people. It is glitz, gold and everything bold. This is being sung day in and day out by the present students as well as by the past pupils at all occasions were regrettably unaware of the genius behind this captivating lyric. Mr. Darrell Pierce, an intellectual par excellence, composed this in the early 1950s. Much as he himself would have desired, he had remained obscure. At least now he must be made known. We had the rare privilege of seeing him at close quarters, heard him speak at earshot and mingled with him in convivial chatters. Soon enough, or far too soon, we discovered his potential fault and enjoyed fruitful encounters interacting with him. He was a scholar extraordinary whose life was an open book. He bore a resplendent face indicative of his inner serenity and tranquility. The traits of acrimony, hatred, ill will or enmity was alien to him, morally upright and above reproach. His life was built on the bedrock of being good by doing good. He often used to say, evil to him who thinks evil. In the choice of using words and expressions, he was at his supreme best. That the profile of this legendary personality remains unavailable either in print or picture is an indictment on all of us. It would amount to a marvelous discovery if someone could fetch it. He was a staunch nationalist who put his motherland before self. His knowledge and wisdom was not meant to be bartered for lucrative benefits. His was a life of service and sacrifice. He evidenced it chivalrously when World War II ravaged from 1939 to 1945. The food supply of the country got disrupted due to the blockade of sea lanes. To supplement this shortage, the state embarked on a Grow More Food campaign. Mr. Darrell Pierce volunteered to spearhead this movement at the All Island Schools level. He travelled across the length and breadth of country visiting all the schools. His mission was to stimulate the students to till the soil to produce food crops. He had ready-made songs and slogans in Sinhala and Tamil to induce them to walk the talk. The country owes a lot to him for sacrificing his time, leisure and energy for this worthy cause. A most distinguished government agent of a bygone era, Mr. Tisa Devendra once referred in the newspaper of the frequent visits made by Mr. Darrell Pires to his alma mater, Dharmaraja College, Kandy, on this campaign. His adventurous pursuit did in no way impede his contact with his bosom friend, Dr. Badiuddin Mahmud. Amidst his busy schedule, 
he will never miss his complimentary visit to his erstwhile companion whenever his path crossed Gampel. More often than not, his visit will access the students as well. This was to deliver the much sought after ginger talk as he used to call it. He had the knack to keep the audience spell bound with his cheery oratory. He was a well-known globe trotter and his ability and mobility kept him occupied even after the war ended. Providentially, Dr. Mahmoud was able to curb his never-ending ramblings by grasping him into the college academic staff. He obliged his friend to serve the college for a few years until Wanderlust entrapped him again. That's how he went into oblivion once more. The song remains evergreen, honoring him, greeting him, and saluting him in absentia. The anthem is brilliant in content and presentation. It abounds with profound thoughts, foremost precepts, and amazing instances to absorb and assimilate. We can interpret the words but need more concentration to understand and appreciate the sentiments that adorn these words. This ode has been so meticulously crafted to send a message of goodwill to the world at large. Mr. Darrell Pires being a champion of democratic values and traditions, he was particularly concerned in focusing the multiracial, multireligious and the multilingual image of Out College. To Mr. Darrell Pires, unity in society was a quintessential of life. He was a pacifist in thought, words and deeds. United we stand, divided we fall is a phrase in common usage. This originated from America during the days of their war of independence. John Dickinson used this in his pre-revolutionary war song, the Liberty Song in 1760s. In recent times, author J.K. Rowling of Harry Potter fame uses it in a more colorful phrase. We are only strong as we are united, as we weak as we are divided. In our anthem, Mr. Darrell Pires touches the acme of his faculty in the following lines. Our earnest aspiration will make Lanka a great nation. It is a very heroically and eloquently amplified message that has earned us the stamp of universality. The goodwill, camaraderie and high sense of patriotism patronized by the product of Gampal Zahira College will remain steadfast forever. It will be an exhilarating experience to engirdle ourselves together and sing the anthem together as Gampal Zahirians bold, young and old.